testing. Check one, two, two, three. Check one. Yeah. You got enough of that? Sounds Check good. Check one. Check two. Well, um, I guess I guess when planning events, you have to look at the events. So we do a number of different things, and they're all quite different. For for Irish Christmas uh, this year, we've we've created a new show, and it's the, basically the code for the whole creative team is is village party, village chapel. And so the first half is a village party. So it's, it's very much it. So the whole set is designed around, you know, sort of the Christmas Carol, Charles Dickens kind of feel. And, um, and what we do is the band are all solos. So the first half is very high, high virtuosity, uh, very high energy. Each of the players get to introduce themselves. We get to talk about our family and life. Special guests come on on different shows. For example, the Kennedy Center, Ricky Skaggs comes on. And, New, Carnegie Hall, we're not allowed to say yet, um, but you know, each, each show has a different, you know, has a different person. And so the whole thing is very fluid, very energetic, very personable, almost like you're inviting someone to your house for the first time. So you just you invite them into your home and you, you chat about stuff and laugh and have fun. And then the second half is almost like the old British, the old Irish sort of, you know, carol service. So it's a village chapel, it must be a village party. To a village, to a village chapel, and the second half, um, my wife and her friend Sally Lloyd Jones, who did the the Bible storybook, the children's Bible storybook, the two of them are creating um, this this lovely kind of sense of almost like a lessons and carol service where the readings um, are are answered by the songs, and they weave this the Christmas story, and we get something of the drama of the Christmas story. And both halves then finish the last 10-15 minutes, finish with a carol sing, and both halves everybody can join in and sing carols with kind of lots of high energy reels and jigs playing you out and it's, it, it's a blast. And then after the show, after the show to kind of tail the evening off and to give it a sense of, I guess, ABA, um, in the lobby, the band go out and do a 25 minute party. And so so kids can kids who are who love music, you know, who can bring their whistles and their fiddles or their dancing shoes and everybody, even the Baptist stands afterwards. It's so much fun. So we um, we have they go into the lobby and they just jam all you know old songs and some couple of carols as well. And it's almost just like a fest. It's for people to enjoy each other and to, and to continue to celebrate the revelry. And also a lot of that was to break down. I, I think the Western concept of a concert and indeed the church the church has aped it as well. It is very formal to the exclusion of personality. So I want people going home with face, with you know, with, with pictures, of, with, with with selfies of, of them, you know, being beside the piper, or, or or meeting the dancer, or being integrated into the whole thing. So that's that's a lot of the concept of of, of the Christmas show. The hymn tour at the minute is a little bit parallel to that. Um, the hymn tour that we do is, is is a concert which is a it's more for the church. So the, the day itself, we structure with leadership events. So that we talk and we, 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 we meet with maybe on average 50 to 100 leaders from the area and then the concert in the evening, they ring their churches and, and we talk about, so, so they've been thinking about conception, then we, then we um, introduce the band and um, we do some you know, songs about, about our, some personal songs, then we begin to talk about what we do which is writing songs and teach them songs, more like performance, so we perform them and they can sing along as they're sitting down and they finish the half with a bit of song, then the second half is 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 um, at the minute um, picks up on a little bit of the Psalms and then and then tells the gospel story the the one actually based on the on the life of Easter Sweet the, the the Gethsemane part of the cross um, Christ is risen model and finish with is in Christ alone so that that's a different thing in terms of church services I tend to go on a couple of principles the Bible is very specific in certain things it it tells us that killing is wrong it says some very specific things about marriage. Um, but when it comes to when it comes to, to how we how we work how we do some worship, it's actually there, there's not very many do nots, you know. So so it's we have a blank page, and that allows the beauty of culture and time. So we, we you know when you think of how what happened in the fifth century um, is different to what happened in Reformation Europe is different to what happens in 21st century Africa, uh, and so you know cultures are allowed to express their own thing. I think the general principles I go for is is first of all, choose great songs. If you are teaching a song or choosing a bad song, you have sacrificed your congregation singing and it had better have been worth it. Because, you know, if they start singing Amazing Grace or How Great Thou Art or, or Before the Throne of God Above or even in Christ Alone, you know the singing is gonna be huge. If you do a song that isn't as strong a song, the singing's not going to be as good, no matter what the music is like, no matter how good the choir is. So we choose great songs. Then after that, I tend, we tend to think about it in just common sense. So obviously the Psalms, you know, will talk about come, you know, come into his presence with praise, come into, sorry, bow before him with praise, come into his presence with thanksgiving. If you look at, say, Psalm 100, 
And so it's logical if God is God and we are not, that we begin with acknowledging who he is. It, it, not even beyond what he's done for us, who he is. Um, and then, you know, his works and, 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 and to what, what he has done for us. Then we acknowledge, we acknowledge our sinfulness, our need of him, and our thanksgiving for the gospel and his forgiveness. Uh, and then after that, we think of more the, more the petition songs. And at that point, I begin to think how I can also work with my pastor in the sermons. And that's why the musician pastoral is, it has to be lock and step. If you're a music director choosing to go to a church, don't choose it on salary. Don't even choose it on location. Choose it on the relationship you have with the pastor and try and serve the church that way. So they're just some basic principles. I could, I could talk for uh, a thousand years probably about the subject, but um, I, that, 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 that's where I would start from. Well, you know, art's a funny thing. You just know. You know in one sense, you just know. Um, my, my four-year-old starts to dance to, my 19-month-old starts to dance to a great song when it's on in the background, and she's oblivious to an average song. So it, it's very endemic in humanity. You know, it, it's, like, it's like when you go for a beautiful meal somewhere, everybody eats all the food. When the food's average, we, we cut back a little bit and leave some because we're watching our figure. When it's great food, we don't want to do that. You know, so we, there's something natural about quality. I think the principles I look for are always, what songs are helping giving me a rich and a deep and a big picture of God? Uh, and indeed understanding our humanity out of that. And then secondly, what songs are just great for congregations to sing? I, I sometimes hear people say, it's sound theology, which is singable. And that's zero out of two, that is rubbish. It has to be, it has to be, it has to be poetic theology that blows our minds. And it has to be melodies that are so good to sing that we just can't wait to sing them. That's not singable, that's great to sing. That's a very different thing. It's a very different thing. We don't, I don't take my wife for our anniversary to a restaurant because the food's edible. I go somewhere that my, I go somewhere that like five days beforehand, I have to stop work to even to think about it and get excited and I start to you know, salivate at the thought of going out for a beautiful meal somewhere. And that's what we want to think about when we think about our songs. It's not, it's not didactic, it's not, it's not a lecture. Testing, check one, two, two, three, check one. Yeah, you got enough of that? Sounds check good. Check one, check two.